LAPD just found an unidentified female body in a garage dumpster. Body appears to have been bleached inside and out. Ray, what is it? It's Carol. It's your daughter. What? It's Mama's Mama. I think the protection comes with with dealing with the more, particularly the more emotional and intense scenes that I really stayed with Jess's thoughts and what she was experiencing as opposed to normally as an actor. You bring your own feelings to it and I just really kept, kept my distance, kept my personal distance from what she was experiencing and just stayed with her. A guy, I can't have you question him. You're letting him go, aren't you? I'm sorry. He's guilty. We can't just let him walk. I'm gonna get him. No matter what it takes. When I sat down to write the script initially, this is uh, maybe four years ago, maybe more, I thought I was writing a movie about loss. That's what I thought I was writing. And about 30 pages in, the screenplay actually told me that it wanted to be about obsession, that that's what I was really writing. And then I just leaned in, and pretty soon every beat of the movie became about obsession. Sometimes screenplays do that to you. They just evolve in a way, and, and you've got to let that happen. I was just really excited by it, you know. I thought it was a, a thrilling film, a real page turning. I thought that the this, this psychological aspect of it was going to be really, really interesting to explore the nature of um, this guy's obsession over this pretty long period of time and, uh, and what that does to him, what that does to him psychologically. I found him. How did you find him? Online. 696,000 Caucasian males in the US prison system. You can cycle through the entire population in a year if you look at 1,906 faces every night, so I did. For a year? For 13 years. Reopen a case. He requires something you know, to, um, to focus this energy, this kind of wild energy. And I think it's because there's some sort of inherent fear of chaos, you know, uh, and, and a need to assert order on a world that is random, sometimes brutal, that he is kind of unable to process in any other way, but trying to sort of control it and trying to crush it, trying to quell it, and that's, um, that's part of his, his madness in a way. I feel like we tried to portray enough of her happy life with her daughter and to just see little glimpses of it is almost more informative than to see all the days of it. By the end of the movie, you come to understand what she did for those 13 years, all she did for those 13 years. My daughter was the thing that made me, me. Nothing will ever change that. She's not gonna stop. He can quit his job, he can change his name, he can dump his car. 